Hey, it's Brian Jacobs, lead coach for Golf Channel Academy and also director of coaching at Brian Jacobs Golf. Here in Rochester, New York, I met my partner, club champion here in Rochester, and we're working on a series called Practice Like a Boss. We've gone through some foundational stuff and we're finally to our third level. So tier one swings, remember, we learned that we wanna take the club back and have the shaft parallel to the ground, parallel to the ball target line when your hands are at your waist and we wanna just rotate through. Remember a key to this drill is to get the center of your core moved around and also have your elbows feel like they're very, very close. Tier two, we have more hinge in our hands. Our hands are more level with our chest. We strike and then we re-hinge the club again. So many of us roll the club to try to get the club back on line and we can't time that out with the face of the club or with our hands. Tier three swings are actually more depth and more width at the top. So we would cross a tier one, we'd cross the tier two, and then we'd have our hands closer to our ears on this. If you see how the shaft is sitting when the club is at my ears, we don't want to have it in a vertical position. We want to feel the weight of the club, start to move the club back. That's why there's weight in the head of the club and not the handle. As we swing down, we want to strike and try to return to the same position. You're still going to feel like your elbows are fairly close to your body. We do experience with a lot of players when they want to create depth, they get their elbow to move way out. And then you can see what the club head position is from there. It's not very good. So tier three again, hands close to the ears, hands close to the ears. And let's hit one, see what happens. We're only trying to hit it about 50 yards. Good, that felt good and felt like fun. So as you practice, try to gain a sense of where the ball is going. If you just have a net at home, if you have a simulator, or if you have track man like I do, you'll be able to start to see some numbers. But be diligent in the positions of your golf swing. Build a link, build links, chain them together and then work as a fluid athlete through those positions. If you get lost, go back to tier one and then tier two, go up back up to tier three and it's okay to go back and forth between all of them. Work slowly and meticulously. Work in small micro focus time periods too. 10 minutes, take a 15 minute break. 15 minutes, take a 10 minute break. Um, don't try to stand there and hit balls for two or three or four hours. So it's really about the quality of your practice, not so much the quantity of how much you do. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to as many as I can.